and chill ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome to a try not to laugh challenge. Okay, this time, before it was a try not to cringe slash laugh, I didn't really know which one to do because they kind of fall in the same categories as each other. So, I'm, I'm gonna rely more on the kind of try not to laugh side of things this time. I don't know, it's probably still gonna be the same thing, it's gonna be the same outcome. I just stand here and then feel bad about everything that's going on because I'm super awkward and I can't handle these situations. It's like when I watch movies as well. And somebody gets up to do the awkward speech and you know something bad is gonna happen and you're just like, no, no, don't do it. Don't do it. I was just sitting here like this, staring through my fingers. So somebody put together, um, their name is Kayla Jade, put together a big comprehensive list. Last time I went off and I said, give me some videos that I could react to because I couldn't find any good ones that I hadn't seen. So somebody came back with a master list of stuff here for me, which is really, really very nice. I, I can't remember how many is in this. There's like 50 videos in this. I'm not going to do all of them, but they did rate them as well, which makes me very happy because then I can ju just choose the best of the best. So to ease us into this, to ease us into this whole process and this whole scenario, we're going to look at a 1 out of 10 clip. And this is a uh, worst fake laugh. And they said it starts at 210. You guys have to be mindful at all about like TV edits and kind of do censored versions of anything. I did one entire film the way I did it, and then we'd do every shot we'd do naked. <laughs> Where are we gonna see that? You won't. <laughs> you won't. Was there any consideration for TV edit, like not swearing? Okay, not that bad. Not that bad. But yeah, that was that was a very fake laugh. My god, just that's so funny. <laughs> so anyway, about your movie. <laughs> Shit, no, that is, I'm laughing at myself, not at that, okay? <sighs> think of something sad, think of something tragic, think of bad things. Think about no more ice cream in the world. <laughs> okay, I'm in the fucking zone. Right, sweet child of mine, guitar riff only, guitar cover riff only. Oh boy. That bad. Oh. What? Oh. What's going on in the background? What the fuck? Why is somebody moaning in the background? Were his guitar skills just too sick that somebody in the other room was just like, oh fuck yeah, play that guitar? Or was he playing guitar to drown out? Maybe they were just really enjoying a pizza. Sounded very sexual though. Oh boy. I don't know if this is laugh worthy. This is a five out of 10, according to uh, Kayla Jade. Uh, Katana sword infomercial goes wrong. That sounds like it's a bad time. That doesn't sound like something that would be funny. Well, I guess we'll see. And the nice thing about these practice katanas. Ow, oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt big time. A piece of that just, the tip just got me, Odell. Oh, that got me good. You all right? A piece of that tip just got me. Stop oh, it! Oh, right now. Stop it! We, uh, may need emergency surgery in the studio. <laughs> okay, almost got me. At the start, I was like... When he's smacking the sword, he's supposed to be the best thing about these katanas is I guess he was going to say they don't break and then the piece flew off and stuck him. I thought, okay, that's not too bad, that's fine. I kind of expected something like that once he started banging. But then he said, just the tip. Just the tip got me. Oh, it's it's fine. It's just the tip. God, I have the fucking mentality of a 12 year old. But come on, that's funny. This one is called a proposal fail. It's only 15 seconds long and I'm very worried. It's, just, it's like I'm eating a fucking ghost pepper. Or I'm getting ready to like sting myself or something. It's just funny videos. With all my heart. And I'm gonna take this moment. No, no. Indy, will you marry me? Oh god, and a cutout. Oh no. <sighs> okay, Th those types of ones I don't find that funny because. I, I'm putting myself into the position of those two people right then and there. Not only, not only is proposing 
a hard thing to do for someone to do. Like get down on one knee and propose to the person you love. But also to be the recipient of that, you want to you wanna react accordingly. When it happens, you're shocked. But you, you don't want to feel make the other person feel bad. So you stand up there and then to have all those people all around you in a public space like that and then you fall off the stage. I hope that person's okay. I hope they're all right. And they got up and she said yes and they're happy together forever now. And they got a house up in the suburbs with a white picket fence and a dog and the neighbors love them because they make good cookies. I hope that's what happened. You can really tell that that's what happened based upon the... The scene that they're in. <laughs> okay, people. It's fucking red alert. We're up to 8 out of 10. We're getting close to the end. And this one's called a backflip fail. Why? These are my, like, Achilles heel. My arch nemesis. If I was Superman, backflip fails would be my kryptonite. Fuck you, you fat bitch. I just gave you what you wanted. I just gave you all what you wanted. It's a fucking circus, everybody. Look. Look. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I was waiting for it. I knew we all knew it was gonna happen. But oh the backflip and then his sound and then, Oh he tried so hard to be like this super cool yeah like fuck you you fat bitch! Thought he he thought he was the shit right there, and then the backflip, and then he got up. He's like, I meant to do that. Totally planned. See you later. I'm going home. What? Look at the monkey. Look at the monkey. It was I did that on purpose. <laughs> it's a fucking show here. <laughs> oh no! He was so confident. Oh uh, why? Why do you people insist on doing things at your graduation? It's already a big special day. But it's not about you, it's about everybody, it's about your class. Don't make it about yourself. Oh god, what, what? Don't, are, you're not gonna backflip, are you? Rachel, Michelle, hut your face. Oh no! That's right, you fucking walk it off, girl! Ah, this lovely man came over to help her as well. These other guys were just like, HA! Moving on! Like, get up and help, dudes! She's got fucking great hair! That's all I have to say. You can't look- You can't look bad or silly when your hair looks that good. Wait, this one is super short, it's only seven seconds. Um, this is a meme. I did not start this meme. I did not make this meme, and I did not share this meme. Wait, did she get a ray at the end? Um, this is a meme. I did not start this meme. I did not make this meme, and I did not share this meme. She said it right at the end! She said- Oh gosh, she's trying to say meme! And at the end, I did not share this meme. But why was she saying meme all the other times? <laughs> what? I remember- I can't remember what I thought they were the first time I saw the word meme. Cause looking at it, you don't say it as meme. It doesn't look like that. It should be M-E-E-M -E -E then. Or something like that. But I remember the first time I thought it was like, um, a may may or something like that. I honestly can't remember what I thought it was, but she got it right at the end. This is it. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. TLC Virgin Diaries night after. Oh no. Ryan and Shanna. What's going to happen after their wedding night? It wasn't really like the movies. So they, it, they make it kind of like... They make it seem really over, simple and yeah. it just happens. So yeah, and they it, make it seem like it's a piece of cake, but it's not really Sometimes it does take some, you know, creative thinking, I guess. It was good, but I guess not quite as good as I was expecting. Well, it was a little painful the first time. It was actually really painful, but... Yeah, we consummated the marriage on the wedding night. It was amazing. Ah, fuck no! Stop! Should we get on here and make a wish? I already made all my wishes. I got my own wish. Wishes come true. Our wishes come true. Oh! Happy oh, wedding to you. Oh, the sweethearts! Oh God! Them, okay, them talking about consummating the marriage and talking about their first sexual encounters and everything. 
Whatever. <laughs> I mean, at least they're open about it or uh, whatever you want to talk about. It's the fucking weird kissing that got me. It's the weird like over like um, and then they started eating the ice cream and it sounded like they were sexually enjoying the ice cream. I mean, don't get me wrong, ice cream is the fucking bomb diggity dom, but what? Why? Why do you have to do those things in these types of videos? Why does it have to be like, okay, now kiss like you like you actually mean it? And it's just no. I mean, is that is that how people kiss? Really? Have I been doing it wrong all this time? Oh no, it's another one. Virgin couple shares first kiss. Sunday. I'm 30. And I'm a virgin. I'm 29, and I'm a virgin. I'm not a virgin entirely by choice. We're saving our first kiss for our wedding. It's the same people! I now declare you to be husband and wife. Ryan, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> Virgin Diaries, an all new special. Sunday at 9. Oh my god! DLC. Oh my god! Fucking A plus for effort and enthusiasm, anyway. But I mean, virginity has nothing got to do with kissing. So, are we just to assume that this is their first time kissing someone, as well? Because, I mean, I, I probably kissed like that the first time I kissed someone, as well. I mean, I was a teenager. I didn't fucking know what I was doing. And see, this is the crux of the problem. Because, on one hand, you're cringing because you're like, please stop. Please, no. But on the other hand, it's like, you know what? These people love each other. They, they very clearly, um, have great feelings towards each other, and she was like, all my all my wishes came through uh, came true like being with you. That's super sweet. I don't want to make fun of these people. You know what? Good on you. Shame on me for reacting the way I did. Yeah, fuck me. Am I right? Can we uh, can we go back to this guy for a second? I'm not a virgin entirely by choice. I I don't want to make any assumptions based on that, but I feel like that that's a whole story right there. I feel like that that story needs to be told. Just saying. Second last video. Second last video. We're doing okay. We're doing all right. We're doing fine. I I fucking believe in me for this. I I mean I've cringed a lot already and I've laughed a lot already. But this one is called George Calloway or Galloway's cat incident. Okay. Um, kind of worried about this one. Here comes the bit we've all been waiting for. George's defining moment from Celebrity Big Brother. Now, would you like me? To be the cat. This was a completely innocent improvisation um, about a, a human being communicating in human animal language with a cat who wasn't eating its food. <laughs> so I talked to him in cat language and he responded in a catty nature of some sort. What is happening? Yeah. What is going on? It was just disgusting. What it just is going me on? The creeps. Yeah. It was just like shiver all down me. It was gross. Okay, can I have some fucking context for this? Like, what? Why? Why is this even happening? Why did he even say, "Do you want me to be the pussy cat?" Why is she going along with it so willingly? What is happening? Well, I mean, it's fucking Big Brother. That's enough of an answer already. Is he purring? That's not bad. Okay, last video, and of course, it has to be a handshake. Uh, how bad is it though? <laughs> oh god, they fucking saved it though. In the end, it was just like, okay, this is going wrong. Fuck, shit. You can just imagine in their heads when you go back and watch it that they're just, in their heads, they're just like, fuck, shit. What do I do? Fuck. I mean, what did she do? Why did she start it off that way? They fucking saved it in the end. Go, go, tigers, kind of thing. Just like, hurrah, we're all fucking part of one big family. Awesome. But why did she start the handshake like this? What what is this? Was it supposed to be like enchanté? Was he supposed to kiss her hand? Because I would have found that a bit weird as well. But why this? 
Dude, who goes for a handshake like this? Your, hand, your hands are naturally like this. Do this! Who hey, let's over this? Try not to laugh, cringe thing. I don't know. What do I call these? Try not to laugh, cringe? I don't know. Then it seems like I'm trying to just put so many fucking buzzwords into the title to try and get views. Which is not the fucking case. I just have no idea what to call them. <laughs> but seriously, thank you to Kayla Jade for putting this together for me. That was super sweet of you and she wrote a very nice message at the end. Um, it was kind of personal and it was directed at me so I'm just gonna absorb it and um, not not try and put her on the spotlight too much. But that, that was seriously super sweet of them to do that and that was a lot of effort and a lot of videos so I'm really glad they did. So thank you for that because it, it led um, to make this a lot easier. I didn't have to go off and find a whole bunch of stuff that I hadn't seen already or try and find- because I never know where to look. So that, that made it really, really easy for me to do this. So thank you very much for that. But also, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face! Like a pause! And... Bye boys, all right? Whoosh, whoosh. Thank you guys, now we'll see all you dudes! I'm just this fucking eccentric anyway. Orderly fashion. Can you all come out here? Dude, put the fucking pants on. Uh, popularity is king. And I'm not the most popular right now. That's all you need to know. No, I am the cat. <laughs>